Wawa. Wawa. Uh, just some water. I That's should probably, it. I, I'm just chewing gum, which I hope doesn't ever come through on the podcast, but maybe it does. Uh-uh. I don't hear it right now, anyway. Okay. I'm excellent. Oh, look, that's rule boy. Yeah, that's that's a mukbang <laughs> video. <laughs> Some people are really into that, but we all throw that in as a tag. See if anybody. We learned. I learned that from uh, the chase. <laughs> oh what yeah, that was that was a question on the chase last week. Yeah, now that Caleb watches the chase, uh, but I want to know how quickly you chased yourself to Hardee's to get the monster burger. I chased nothing. I did, in fact, though, have it delivered 25 minutes ago. Oh, no. <laughs> it, it looks like you just have a, like a miniature version of one. It does. It must be. It's a tiny. <laughs> it's the son of Monster Burger. There is one? <laughs> no. I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, okay. So you're having your 1,700 calorie burger right now. You're um, like fourteen dollar burger right now. That dude, thing is expensive. Yeah, yeah the yeah. Uh, the combo of that was what I think like ten seventy nine or something like that. Mine was, was fourteen dollars. Oh really? Mine wasn't that much. <laughs> it's more expensive here apparently, Logan. Oh, so I because yeah, I went back to my parents' house this weekend where there is two restaurants in town, and it is a Hardee's and Dairy Queen. That's it. Uh, so I. Uh, yeah, I had that in a different town, but I think yeah, it was like ten seventy nine or something. So with tax, yeah, probably twelve, thirteen bucks, something like that. In retrospect, I should not have gotten the combo because I did not need those fries at all. No, <laughs> no. Um, I tapped out about halfway through on my fries uh, after I got quite the cramp going. Uh, <laughs> uh, but let's go to taste, though. I mean, I mean, obviously it was very filling. Uh, mm-hmm. Where are you guys at on the taste of this thing? I'd say it's the best of the three, to be honest. I agree. I was surprised, but I, yeah, I agree. The last time I had one of these, I, I thought this would be number three from one to three for me when mm-hmm. we started this. I don't know whether they've improved the quality of their beef or what, but this one was pretty tasty. And also, I won this week's dry competition. Mm-hmm. And it's still, I think, the. I think the patty was greasy enough, honestly, that mm-hmm. I didn't like it, it. It wasn't as dry. I think that's what as it is. the bacon king. Because mm-hmm. the the BK one, like that's that's grilled, so you lose some of the grease. Mm-hmm. And the Wendy's one, I don't know, I don't know what they're doing to their patties over there, but this one, for whatever reason, I think retained all of its grease. Wendy's, <laughs> I think, cooks everything on a griddle, so it's not flame broiled. It's everything's you know like with the big flat silver griddle things. So I think that's where those are i think what we found is caleb mentioned this but the the burger king leans pretty hard on their veggies same with wendy's Mm -hmm. and so we didn't have that with this this little experiment we just went pure cholesterol and fat (laughs) content Mm -hmm. and hardy's is my winner i expected it to be low but i I would give it like seven i thought it was good yeah yeah it's way too much food so oh my god (laughs) Yeah. It's not as big as the king, though, right? Oh my god, seriously? No, I think it was bigger than the king. Really? Was it? I feel like it was bigger. Was yeah, it? I think maybe it was bigger I, than the king. I don't. I don't know. Maybe mine was a little. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe mine was just. Maybe mine was it smaller. Was, I mean, that thing was reason. super round. I mean, that thing was almost the size of my face. It was. It was big. A uh, lot of okay. bacon. Mine. The amount of mayonnaise that was shooting out of mine. I mean, it was. It was slightly disturbing. The amount of mayonnaise. You got the best was, one then. Yeah. Like I ended up taking, so my daughter ordered just a regular bacon cheeseburger. I ended up taking a French fry scoop of mayo and been slopping it on hers. That's how much mayo I had. Cause we have converted my daughter now. She did not care about the mayo on the burger, thought it was a bad idea. Now she wants mayo on every burger. She's gone full can- Canada and I can't help her. No, yeah. I mean, that's, you need to bring back some poutine next time. I know. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> oh, so Jason, you gave it a seven. Uh, I'm going nine. That thing was great. I love I love a monster burger. I'm um, I'm with Jason on this. I'm gonna go seven just because I think it's unnecessarily large. <laughs> I so so you want to hear something funny is that when uh, Jason you're uh, you're muted I think. Sorry, I Sorry. said that's kind of what we signed up for, Caleb. But <laughs> uh, I used to eat this at least two to three times a week during football season in high school. 
Like that was that was my go to lunch sandwich. Was oh, and just so all of our listeners know, Logan never played football. <laughs> I played my freshman year. Come on, it'd be funnier if you didn't. <laughs> and then I was told I couldn't play anymore because of my random kidney problem. <laughs> Unrelated to the Monster Burgers, <laughs> right? Maybe. Well, oh, maybe, it, 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 maybe we're it. onto something there. Uh, so moving on, let, let's let's this week let's quick. Anybody got oh, anything? Oh yes. Well, oh, we need all, next week's um, food challenge. Yes. Sorry. Well, we have to. Uh, I would also like to rank the experience, the Hardy's experience. Oh yes, yes. Um, I, I'm going to give this a. I'm going to give this an eight. Mm. Um, because they were pretty quick. Mm-hmm. Um, but they don't have an app, so you automatically lose two points for me if you don't have an app. So huh. uh, it's, it's an eight, but there. So I, I actually I, I I forgot to order the curly fries when I placed the order, mm. and I asked her at the drive up if if, uh, if it was too late, and she's like, "Let me see if I have any," and then she did it. So she gets the bump for that. Didn't take very long. Easy order. Everything was right. So you get an eight. I mine was the same. Probably, yeah. I mean, very quick, easy, no problem. And I ordered four different meals. So, wow, that's pretty good. Hmm. I'm gonna say um, because of the I, I I door dash it, so I can't I can't really comment. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, but I will say, Caleb, to the to the app thing, I don't think Hardee's needs an app. In fact, you're probably not their target customer. I think you need to go get your CDL and then maybe you're their target customer. That's, you know, I'm pretty sure you can order on a ham radio. That's about the best way you can do it. <laughs> get this to Joe's garage stat. Mm. Um, anyway. All right. Next week's food challenge. Uh, I, there was, uh, there was discussion of about the new case of Lupa that is back. Um, Ooh, what is that? Uh, I don't know what that is. A chalupa wrapped in a tortilla with a, with cheese in between. Right? Yeah, I think so. Right? I'm not a hundred percent sure what a quesalupa is. I just I like chalupas, so that's why I wanted to bring that up because I was um, like, "What in the hell let, is let a me, quesalupa?" Let me Google a quesalupa, and I don't even know if it's officially back. Um, I think it is. I got well, an app notification. Yeah, okay. it, I think this is the first time it's been available in the app. I think is why oh. everyone's making a big deal about it. Oh, so is it like a secret menu item? Yeah, it was like a secret item before. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, all right. I'm looking at that. Takes the restaurant's popular chalupa shell, stuffs it with cheese, and if, um, and then it puts it into a hard taco, a hard shell taco. I would think a soft shell taco. I, or oh, is it a okay. chalupa? Wait a minute. I I don't even know what this. Thing I think is. it's just a chalupa, another tortilla. Mm-hmm. Like a soft tortilla, and then cheese melted in between the two. Okay. Okay. So it's the, like a... the pictures I'm seeing are are different. Yeah, the it's picture... the chalupa shell with the cheese inside of it. Oh. Yeah, but I, I, I'm. You know what? We could all go find out. We could. Um, there's one other option is uh, there is a new sauce at B Dubs. I don't know if B Dubs counts, but. Um... <laughs> I looked at it and went, no thanks. No, I didn't. I didn't the see what it was. Truffle sauce. Oh, it's truffles. Yeah, so it's truffles. Okay. And I was like, no thanks. Uh, there's also the new McDonald's chicken sandwiches. Yeah. So we've got a few options here. I don't care. Somebody pick one. I'm good either way. Let's um, do the case of Lupa because I think we're all kind of curious about that. Okay. I may have already had a mcdonald's chicken sandwich as well but there's three different <laughs> varieties so i gotta so i'm good to try down all of them so um but yeah i'm good to try a case lupa too all right case lupa it is. is whoa jinx dude <laughs> all right uh anybody before we dive into uh, oh i have a surprise agenda item here as well but let's let's uh uh, Jason is very surprised. Uh, any, I anybody have what anything, for, anything for games this week before we dive into the surprise agenda item in the top 100? I would have had to have played a video game to talk about them, and I did not. <laughs> Same. <laughs> and Jason, you're still plugging away at Persona? Five strikes. Yeah, I'm plugging away at Persona, and then I came down, downstairs the other night to use a foam roller, and I accidentally played Mortal Kombat again. 
I mean, sometimes you just it fall happens. back into habits. It's okay. I mean, well, it really. It's. Did it's you have to? Did you have to like turn a chip or something? Like, I mean, I I wanted to. Uh, the new season started, so I wanted to see if there was any scorpion gear that I could go mm. get. And then there I was, like, ooh, those swords look cool. I can rank up that far. It's like halfway up the tree. So okay. I think that's what I'm doing now. Is in seasons. Like I don't have to kill myself climbing the ladder, but I'll climb mm. it to the necessary spot if it's something that I want. And I still learn something new all the time. Like, especially if you start early where all everyone is there, like the best people are with the worst people and the people in between. And I see myself improving still, which is kind of crazy after three years of playing it. Mm-hmm. That's um, it. That's okay. all I did. Those right. two. Well, uh, I will get into my surprise agenda item here. So, I went back to my parents' house yesterday where uh, my mom uh, knows somebody who essentially there there was a whole long story. Either way, no one's been inside this house for six years. Someone died. No one's been inside the house. They want to go through it and get rid of everything, but this person was a hoarder. And... Like, they weren't, like, disgusting hoarders, so there wasn't, like, food everywhere. It was just a lot of junk with, like, dust all over it. And uh, so they said, hey, yeah, you can go through this house and see if there's anything you want. Um, uh, Don't take the Coca-Cola stuff. We think that's worth a lot of money. Um, There's also some Disney stuff in there. Don't take that because uh, the ex-wife wants to keep it. Okay. Okay. Uh, so my mom started going through this uh, a couple weeks ago, and she found a lot of 90s Bulls memorabilia. Okay. So I uh, have, I think, Caleb, did I tell you about this already? I think. Maybe. A little bit. Some, some part of it. Um, so, you know the Wings poster? The big Wings poster? Yeah. Yeah. I have that now. Oh, yeah, the sitcom poster? Yeah, Yeah, on Wings. Yeah, Tony Shalhoub. Yeah. Um, So I now have an original sealed copy of that poster. Awesome. Uh, The six-foot standee, the original height, like his six-foot, six-height standee, the cardboard standee of him at the free throw line. Yeah, I have that sealed. Um, Never been opened. Um, I have a rather – I have a 16 by 20 uh, poster of – the dunk contest, like in a, it was the one of the official Nike ones, uh, framed. It looks real nice. I've got a three foot by one foot uh, panoramic picture of the 1993 NBA Finals tip off game six, Sonics and Bulls. Um, so that was some you mean of the Suns and Bulls. Oh, sorry, 92 because it was Sonics. No, 90, 92 would have been the Blazers. 90 would have been the Blazers. No, ninety nine. They didn't play in the nine and ninety. Either way, ninety one, ninety two, ninety three. I'll have to look at my year, but it's the it's the game six of the uh, Sonics and um, that's ninety six. Was ninety six? Okay, sorry, it's ninety six. I looked at my wrong year. Um. Anyway, but I found some other stuff that might be related to this podcast, such as. The Texas Instruments TI-99 from 1983. Uh, just in for, there's some games in here called, they're all, so, by the way, it says solid state software, which I find hilarious that it's like a solid state drive from 1983. Um, Munchman, TI Invaders, Tombstone City, Car Wars, Indoor Soccer, Blasto, Attack, Yahtzee, Hangman, Hunt the Wumpus, whatever that is. <laughs> Mind Challenges, uh, dash, maze, dash, ing, blackjack and poker, football, video graphs, video chess, and adventure. Also included are home financial services like tax investment and record keeping, word processing. Like, yeah. You're going to do your taxes on it? Yeah. <laughs> so this whole thing's here. So why not? Uh, so found that. Um, and then I came across some random things like uh some Nintendo games like regular Nintendo games in original boxes so nice. this is pro wrestling which boxes are in pretty good shape not going to complain 
And so there's pro wrestling. There's slalom, which is I don't. It was it was a rare game, by the way. So rare uh, LTD. Uh, we've got what else do we got here? Um, I don't even know. Ten yard fight, football game. <laughs> I don't remember this at all, but you know, the, you can tell these are definitely the older games because of how they're that uh, that set that style of setup. Uh, we've got Konami's Track and Field. Nice. We've got Double Dribble. Mm. Kill and Box. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, what else do we got here? Um, oh yeah, like we've got a very pristine copy of Super Mario Brothers. Two. Nice, nice. We also have a very pristine copy of Duck Hunt by itself. Not Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt. Yes, Duck Hunt by itself. Uh, I didn't know that Duck Hunt ever ever came by itself. Yeah, mm-hmm. weird, huh? Uh, and then we start getting into some interesting things like Contra. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Very nice. And, uh, you know, a little game here called Mike Tyson's punch out. <gasps> <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> he's, he's done. He froze. He's done. Inbox. Mike Tyson's punch out. What do you want for it, you son of a bitch? Well? You're a tough negotiator. You want a case of lupa for it? You maybe. got it. So, <laughs> there's also this other game here called Gyromite. You guys have any idea what Gyromite is? I've heard the name, but I have no idea what it is. Well, you see, it came with a pack as a pack-in game. With, <laughs> I think I know what this is. The Super oh. Mario Brothers Deluxe Set with okay. the robot. So, okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna set this over here real quick, and uh, yeah, here's uh, here's Mr. Bob here, the awesome. Nintendo robot. <laughs> oh man so That's yeah cool. full set full box it's in really good shape too mm-hmm. wow. I mean, it was really dusty but yeah the nest that it came with nice mm-hmm. the zap- I left the zapper and stuff over there there's also a flight stick um but that, yeah, that duck hunt, I think, also came with that. So that's why it's in a box by itself. Because, it, yeah, it only came with gyromite and duck hunt. Um, yeah, my my game eye is kind of, you know, that little app thing that we the used. The value to shot up a little bit. <laughs> value <laughs> shot up a lot the last few days. <laughs> uh, so, yes, I went through this house and, I mean, literally was dumpster diving, for lack of a better word, through this place. Uh, I found the box first, uh, the deluxe set box first, but it didn't have anything in it and started digging through this closet, found a box of about 50 Playboys from <laughs> the mid to late 90s. I left that there. Nice. I just didn't think that was probably something nice. I should bring home. Oh, those are just up in your closet? I know, right? I should have just brought them <laughs> home. But, um, Why I are also, these boxes so heavy, Logan? You stay out of there. I know. Put it in the trunk. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the uh, uh, I also found an Atari 2600 box, but I never found the Atari mm. or the game. So I was doing a lot of digging, trying to find that. Um, I found a couple of the boxes, like the game boxes, but never the actual games or system itself. And boy, did I dig through that place looking for it. But my guess is, is that like all kids that age, they sold their Atari to buy their Nintendo. So yeah. So that was a heck of a weekend finding some of this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's uh, pretty good. That That's was, pretty good. All. That was about the best haul I think I could ever find. So um, that being said, I'm going to dig into my top 100. 100? Except for Caleb is disabled sharing. Oh. You got to enable sharing here. Uh, I don't know how to make that permanent. You should be good now. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. Sharing my top 100. Can you guys see it? Yep. Mm-hmm. 
Ooh, right. on the edge. So these are some folks on the edge here. Uh, Doom oh, that's 20... not a game. No, it's not. Yeah, these are the folks on the edge outside <laughs> looking in. The bubble teams, for lack of a better term, I guess. Maybe, yeah, maybe we should just say these are on the bubble. It's the sequel to Cliffhanger on the SNES. Mm. Yeah, on the bubble. Uh, on the bubble. Doom 2016, Dead Rising, NBA Street, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Astro's Playroom, Mortal Kombat X, Until Dawn, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade. Those, those I felt like I was trying to plug them in to the bottom portion here, and they just couldn't never quite make it. Astro's probably could, but I feel like it's still too hot. Same with Spider-Man, Miles Morales. So, as we did with Jason's list, oh, you guys check me on these. Like... Th- Tell me, like, should this game be higher, lower? Like, come on. I mean, just be like, come on, man. Like, that game should be higher than that on your list. Um, I'm going to try to kind of run through them quickly. Uh, when I say quickly, I mean, you know, I'm not going to lament five minutes on each one. I might, if we have, if you guys have some comments on each one, we'll feel free to jump in. But I'll, uh, without further ado. Um, maybe maybe just go like 10 at a time and then we'll kind of look at the 10 as a group. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with 191 here. Uh, So coming in at 100, Saints Row the third. Pretty good. Solid game. Uh, Max Payne, Max Payne number Mm. one uh, in the PS2. Number 98, Captain America and the Avengers. You guys familiar with this game at all? Yeah. Yeah, You guys tried to play it, and you you didn't like it anymore, I thought. Mm. (laughs) Did you try to play that on a... I think it still holds a special place for me as that one of those kid, the nostalgic kid games. So that's why it stays mm-hmm. on that list. Uh, number ninety-seven, Galaga. That was. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know you were a Galaga guy. Yeah, that's interesting. More of a Galaga guy than like Space Invaders or anything like that. This was a. This was the game that I played the most at my grandparents' house. I so. thought that was a typo, and you were trying to put Galaga on there. Oh, it could <laughs> be. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Uh, there is one more game that I played at my grandparents' house that is a little farther up on the list, but we'll get to that. There was about two. There was two games, but the, that was one of them. Uh, the Simpsons Hit and Run. This, is, you know, you had Bart's Nightmare on yours. This is my Simpsons game that makes my top 100. Uh, mm. The Simpsons game also probably, if I like had to expand this to like a 125, would probably be on there. But I, um, I think the Simpsons Hit and Runs where it falls for me. Speaking of falling, Titans are falling from the sky. Uh, I would be shocked if two wasn't way higher on this list. Yeah, somewhere. probably a little higher up there. But so I, I would say that maybe, maybe, maybe we evaluate Titanfall one against some of your fringe games down there. Mm. Do you love? Do you do you not like Dead Rising one more than Titanfall? Titanfall one, I played a lot of Titanfall one. Ew. Yeah, but Dead Rising. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I've... all right. All right. I, I, if Dead Rising One had the mechanics of Dead Rising Two, it would be a better game. Sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't. That's just. I'm. That's just like factual. <laughs> right. And then like, because the story of Dead Rising Two wasn't that great. Mm-hmm. So give me the story of One with the mechanics of Two. Yeah. Which was supposed to be Dead Rising Four, but it just didn't quite hit. So. Yeah. Uh, NBA 2K11. This was the Jordan one. That, I was just going to ask that. Uh-huh, where you got to do all the Jordan moments and stuff, the top 10 Jordan moments. So, yeah. That'd probably be on my list around the same spot if I had done 100. Mm-hmm. Uh, number 93. It was a lot higher on Jason's list, but Crackdown for me is uh, number 93. It's too low on your list. Too low. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we'll see where we'll see I think it's too it. high. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb was like, get it off your list, Jason. That is not a very good it. game. <laughs> <laughs> Crackdown 2 is not a very good game. Crackdown 3 is a really not a very good game. Yeah. Uh, but Crackdown 1, very good game. Uh, the Darkness. Time and place. Yeah, The Darkness. Uh, coming in number two. Yes, yeah. Uh, and Uncharted Lost Legacy wraps out my top nine, or my top, or my bottom ones of my 90s, I guess, here. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and scroll up here to, let's get ourselves. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm already seeing some stuff here that I am... Very slow again, Logan. What? <laughs> what is happening, Caleb? What is hey, going on with this What is above right all this stuff? I know, right? <laughs> How so, do you have both Ori games in the eighties? <laughs> I the, I went back and forth on, on the Ori's here. Uh, so yeah, number ninety, Viva Pinata. Number eighty nine, left. Which dead. Caleb, if you knew him at the time, by the way, that he was playing Viva Pinata, you would be like, "Well, this is." in Logan's top 10 because <laughs> this guy just 
like head over heels Viva Pinata fan. I love. understand. <laughs> I was too. <laughs> it's like Caleb knows he was there. Uh, number eighty-eight. Not yeah. What I can't remember. What I said so, yeah, Left for Dead. Yeah, Left for Dead. Number eighty-eight. Ori in the Blind Forest. Number eighty-seven. Kingdom Hearts two. My lower Kingdom Hearts game. Eighty-six. Death Stranding. Uh, 85, or RC Pro-Am. This is my other ga- Nintendo game that I played at my grandma's a lot. Uh, have you guys played this ever before? Is this, is this, this the, the Dirt Bike game, or was no, that Excite This was like a Micro Machine style game. Was this like a top-down view? Top-down view, yeah, okay. and they all look like little cars or little trucks. Um, so they were RC cars, um, and they would go around the track, and you had... Um, each track had a collectible thing that you would try to find, like, and they spelled out Nintendo. Uh, was on there those. an arcade version of this? There might have been. Because I feel like I played this in an arcade. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it remember. very well could be. It is on my wall over there. It is a rare game as well. So this was on the rare when, like, when they did Rare Replay. Uh, this mm. was on that uh, thing, and I played a lot of it when Rare Replay came out. So. Uh, 84, Final Fantasy X-2. I know not a lot of people like that game, but I give me some dress fears. I I was all about it. I, I think there's really an extension. More Final Fantasy X for me was a good thing. So that's why I liked X-2. It ended that game for me. Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Man, played a lot of Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Good beat em up. A lot of good... Uh, the trivia within there with it at uh, Stark Tower. Good stuff. Give me that. Uncharted 4. I like where this is at. This you makes like... sense to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's higher on my list, obviously, but not like way, way, way higher. Mm-hmm. And that, I don't know. Knowing you, how you feel about Uncharted, that's good. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Got it. This, on the other hand. Ori and the Will of the Wisps? Uh, no. Oh, the sorry. Game sorry. Metal Gear Solid 3. Is this your favorite Metal Gear Solid game? No, this is the lowest Metal Gear Solid game on my list. Oh man, really? Yeah. God, you're high. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. At least why is that? If if sorry, we're just now getting to the Metal Gear games. Four is eighty one. Four is not even on my list. Yeah. Okay. So Guns of the Patras. Yeah. Okay. So that tells you anything. And then Good. Ori and the Will of the Wisps at number eighty. All right. Let's head into the seventies. All right. Number seventy nine. Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm a sucker for bow and arrow and robot dinosaurs. I can't help myself. Uh, X Men Legends. I was an X Men Legends guy, not as much an X Men Legends two guy. I mean, I mean, Psychic Maelstrom was its. I mean, you and I lived for a Psychic Maelstrom, but I don't know what the first one just got me more. So Madman. Madman. It's Madman. Pat Stewart. <laughs> Madman. 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 <laughs> uh, Astrobot Rescue Mission. I like that game a lot. That. That VR experience is something that I, I mean, that Casal Collectathon, that that game's real good. Do that you we, like that better than Playroom? I f- I'm at a point where I feel like Playroom's still too hot to to make a decision on. Yeah, no, I'm, I know that Playroom is not going to get on the list, but I'm just asking. Do you think that 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 would stay? I think at some point both will make it on the top hundred list. I feel like I would rock it. Astro's playroom higher than it should be right now if I put yeah. it on the list. That is my issue. Okay, that's fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, number 76, Tetris. Just straight up Tetris. Good game. Always has been. Very good game. Mm-hmm. Some may say the best game. <laughs> mm, yes. An argument could be made. If they ever made a Tetris story mode. No, I don't know. I, no, <laughs> no, wait. No, I don't want to know anything about the weird L block. I don't know. <laughs> Can you believe that the T block killed the square block? I can't, I I that just like blew my mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, number seventy five. Uh, I felt like I could put Hades on this list. I still felt like that I could put this here. I think it's it, maybe it's too low right now. I don't know. Hades is good. Hades is really good. You're on mute again, or are you just is Hades up? is Hades higher on your twenty twenty list than Astro? Yes, but just barely. It mm. they go three four. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Seventy four loco roco. I mean, who doesn't love a bunch of weird little? Th- I mean, that music alone in that game is what is why I would say that game falls there. That game's real good. Uh, straight up original Super Mario Brothers at number seventy three. Still good game. 
Uh, Metal Gear Solid Five, at number mm-hmm. seventy-two. Yep, yep. Solid game. Uh, the, while this game is not good, it is another childhood <laughs> <laughs> memory that uh, Mutant League Football, the most recent Mutant League Football. No, no, not so great. But uh, Mutant League Football for a eight to ten year old kid, where you can explode people and everything else. That's a fun time when you're when you're that age. Um, you could throw the ball to you know. Not Jerry Rice, but Scary Ice. You know that was a that was a fun thing <laughs> for that time. Uh, and at number seventy, Infamous. I played first a lot Infamous. Of Infamous. First Very Infamous. Very good. Was real good. Thank yep. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna go to the sixties. Number sixty nine, Mario Kart Double Dash. That was just a lot of fun. I mean, a lot of good college memories of playing Mario Kart Double Dash. Good time had by all. God of War two. On the PS2, uh, that was probably my favorite of those guy that God of War trilogy. So it was God of War two. So I'm gonna. So that's where that falls. It's in my it's list. pretty flushed out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's definitely everything God of War one was, but a more polished, better version of that game for sure. Yep. Then Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. This was the PSP game that was the prequel. Jason's already like lost. This story. is this is this is what's her face and what's his face, right? This was Aqua Terra and Ventus. Yeah, yeah. got it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. This is where you get um, introduced to all of like all of the original bad guys and everything else and how this whole thing started. So I got it. A yep. lot of story that led into three was really from Birth by Sleep. So uh, all the Keyblade War stuff, everything else. Well, I could talk about that forever, but instead I'm going to talk about <laughs> Street Fighter Two. I think you'll have plenty of other chances to talk Kingdom Hearts. Maybe there, but not, but maybe not for a while. <laughs> uh, Street Fighter Two. I didn't know which one to put on here. Turbo. What about Serpo, Super Turbo? What no. uh, Super is Hyper on my. Remix. I put Super on my wall. So if that tells you anything, so Super Street okay. Fighter Two is on the wall. That's the one with Cammy, T Hawk, yeah. uh, DJ, and yeah. the fake Bruce Lee. Uh, That's my favorite of, of the Street mm-hmm. Fighters, for sure. Yeah, I've spent a lot of time in my formative years learning fighting games via Street Fighter. So, uh, Number 65, Cuphead. Um, Cuphead's good. Still haven't beat it, but damn, Cuphead's good. I, I agree. Mm-hmm. You never finished Cuphead? No, I, I never did. Man, it's a hard video game. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult. Yeah, uh, I'm, on the, I'm on the last thing. I just... The Devil? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I've got I'm there. Which is also the hardest one. So mm-hmm. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. I mean, that robot's hard too, but I got yeah. through it. Uh, then Mortal Kombat three, because I like Striker. I don't know, maybe that's why. Curtis <laughs> <laughs> like, Striker. Bring bring the, Curtis Striker back. Mortal Kombat three. If if you like MK games, you know it's a good one to pick because of the combo system introduction. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. it's it's a banger. It's a good game. Yeah. Uh, 63 Gears of War one. We'll see if there's another Gears that maybe makes the list. I don't know. Uh, number 62 Marvel Spider-Man, the most recent one. That that game hit me hard. I like that game a lot. Does that seem low to you, Caleb? Or is it just because we're in the era of this podcast? I don't know. That's you a good question. Wait till you start seeing more of what's happening. You yeah. might be like, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. but okay. okay. Let's right. let's flag that. For later, we'll we'll just put it's a little X here. That maybe it's that, a finding. It's a finding. I'm gonna ask the same question I asked before, but like, uh, do you like Spider-Man definitely better than Miles Morales? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I am like, the opposite. Yeah, I am opposite too. But, but okay, that's fair. I, I will say that I think Spider this one the the first one drug on too long and the Mary Jane stuff sucked, but I think. Ultimately, I liked Spider-Man One better from a story standpoint, but I would say Miles Morales. I've, I'm having an issue with that too because every, I feel like it's it seems in my head that a game my four and five on my list this year on my personal list this year to jump into my top 100 seems like I'm 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 elevating them due to recency bias. Yeah, okay, that we went through that with me last week. Yeah, we slotted them. Mm-hmm. It's time to step up. <laughs> maybe that well maybe we'll get there at the end. Okay. Maybe we'll get there at the end. Uh all right. And then yeah, NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Oh nope, you missed Rock Band 2. Oh, sorry. Oh, Rock Band 2. It's fine. Uh, Which the, is probably an omission from my list that I'm realizing now. Yeah. Rock that Band. That should 2. probably be on my list somewhere. Best of the rock bands. Good game. Yep. Solid. All around. NBA Jam Tournament Edition. We talked about how great that game is. Yeah, I think we're good. 
All right. Into the 50s. Turtles in Time. Uh, so good. Solid game. Man, I'm really excited for that new Turtles beat em up that we saw this week. The, was it Return of the Shredder or something like that? Yeah. Yep. Looking for that. Control. Whoa! Control coming in hot in the top mm. 60. I mean, this was my game of or it's number two game or no, this was my game of the year last year. Cause death stranding was number two for me. Our was our collective okay. was death stranding, but my game of the year was control in 2019. So metal gear solid two. There's Man, another metal gear. Logan. <laughs> what? You need to switch that with three. <laughs> Hey, we all have our different preferences. <laughs> yeah, but in this case, your preference is wrong. <laughs> Caleb's not a big riding guy, in case you haven't picked that I up. I guess I no, picked that up, but no. I, I like a good twist. I don't know. I, I, it might be because that was my actual introduction to Metal Gear. Yeah, maybe that's what it is for I, me, is because I already knew the twist going into it. So. Oh, see, and I didn't know the twist going into it, and I didn't play Metal Gear Solid 1. I'd only randomly watched oh, Jason wow. play a little bit of 1 before I played 2. Yeah. How did you understand anything that was going on? How do you understand <laughs> anything that's going on in Metal Gear? Lo- Logan, like, lived it with me. Like, he saw me, like... Yeah, I watched you play it. Who is this guy? What <laughs> is going on? Where is Snake? What, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. And then, like... First of all, like everybody was like Raiden because like he thought it was spelled like the Mortal Kombat character or pronounced like the Mortal Kombat <laughs> yeah. character. So we were all running around saying, what's the deal with this Raiden guy? <laughs> but then after and he died, it then, was they'd Raiden. Say, Raiden. then they'd say, right. Then they'd say, right. Oh, okay. Uh, Sunset Riders, which we have played together on this, g- on this podcast. That's it's a good game. It's a good game. It's a good Sega Genesis game. Ooh, uh, there it is. L.A. Noir, Yeah, L.A. Noir falls just out of the top 50 here, but uh, still there. Mario Brothers 3. You know, that's... Uh, I, I think we talked about this last week. I think I said it was like, Mario Brothers 3 is a good game for me. Is it top 50 material? Barely, almost. Yeah, just just about there, but we're there. Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, I went back and forth on this one, like being in my top 50, but this is kind of where it fell. But I like that game a lot too. Me too. Uh, Time Killers. This is where I made the decision of like, hey, uh, this can't be in my top fifty because the game itself is not that good. But I have an affinity for it to no end. But it's just not good enough to make a top fifty. But what you game is the real enough? mature thing that mm-hmm. I did and put a Turtle Champions at like eighteen? Okay. <laughs> oh, wait! Do you see some of the stuff on my list? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. And then we start getting over top 50, which uh, for me is SimCity 2000. Uh, you know, man, that's it's a good-ass SimCity game. I that forgot was, about it, it's honestly. Fun. I, it's I mean, good. On PC. You played this on PC? I played this on PC, not on Super Nintendo. So I, I, did have some, I did have some random PC games back in the day, and there, I think there will be another PC game coming up, a couple PC game games coming up, actually. Uh, so yeah, which yeah, right here, um, coming up here, but number 49, Star Fox, original Star Fox with the Super FX microchip, Devil May Cry, number 48. So good. Need for Speed Underground. I went through a, f- the rice car phase in my life <laughs> and this game got me through it. And, uh, I enjoyed this game a lot. I played a hell of a lot of Need for Speed Underground. Had a couple of friends who were really into it too. So, yeah, we were all about decking our cars out and doing all the, the drifting and sprints and all kinds of dumb stuff. So, what was it? they were still good back then too. Yeah, because so Underground Two you. turned into trash, and then I don't even know what the Need for Speed games are today. So, I'm not into the Hot Pursuit style games at all. Uh, the first of the Halos to reach on the list. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> Halo Reach is on the list. Like it. Uh, anyway, um, uh, yeah, Halo Reach, real good game. Uh, Uncharted Four is that? I think we got a duplicate. We have yeah. a duplicate. Yeah, we do. Uh oh. Was that supposed to be one of the other well, Uncharted? Was two supposed to be down where four is? No, because I think it's higher up. All right, we got to flag it. We might have an issue here. Okay. Okay. It's another finding. It's another finding. It's a finding. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, Heretic. The original Bioshock, may I say, 
uh, this game was you actually could like you had magic that you shot out of one hand and your uh, other hand was a gun. So to me, this was the original Bioshock. I've seen some Heretic speed runs. Oh so yeah, I know, you know. I know what, what you're talking about. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. in like the it's in the Doom block. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I played this a lot as a kid. Um, Hexen, which is what tends to be the more popular version of this, uh, was technically the sequel to Heretic, but is the one that people know more. Uh, Eternal Darkness. Uh, this game just is real dumb, and <laughs> like all the stuff that it did to mess with your head, I thought was great at the time. Other people were like, this is really cheesy, but... I thought it was really funny and really well done, especially for something it, you know, that nobody had done anything like that. And it gave you a reason to play your GameCube. You know, it was a mm-hmm. GameCube, GameCube exclusive. So yep. that was another uh, positive I remember. I was like, mm-hmm. I can't play that. I don't have a GameCube. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Heavy Rain. Yeah. Made my list as uh, I, I question this maybe being higher. But then I feel like I just every time I'd go to put it above something, I couldn't put it above a banger like Metal Gear Solid. It's higher on my list. So yeah, but I get it. I get it. Mm-hmm. Metal Gear Solid One. So you played them in reverse order, and did you play this? Is this technically Twin Snakes for you? This would technically be Twin Snakes for me, but I don't own it on GameCube, so that's why I have the PS1 listed. Because, uh, as you can see, I had some hidden columns here of things that I have, like in like here's what's in inventory and everything else. So very good, yeah, very good. All right, and then Resident Evil Four is falls into number forty slot. It's a great game. All right, getting into the thirties. Okay, here we go. This now we're getting into okay. it. Okay, Gears of War two, <laughs> Dead Space two, love it. Portal two, also love it. All yeah. of a sudden, I got a lot of sequels. Sonic the Hedgehog two, can't argue with it. it it's my Sonic game that's on the list. Everybody, it's you right, it's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Sonic and Knuckles just because I could play all of them together. Like it's yeah. like an all encompassing one mm-hmm. through four thing for me. Well, yeah. not four proper, but you get what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. Um. And then we go Batman Arkham Asylum. Great game. Yep. Mario 64. Some might say the best Mario game ever. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, might be one above it. Maybe two. <laughs> maybe I don't one. know. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Sunshine's got to be on here somewhere. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's true. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. He slotted it. I he slotted did. it. He, he did. did it. He's braver than us. <laughs> yeah, I do. I didn't want to do it. I just couldn't. I didn't want to. In I, fact, you guys took you guys let me off the hook. <laughs> yeah, I, I just remembered. Uh, Life is strange. I was a big Life is Strange guy. That that game for me was a lot. Uh, X Men on Genesis. This was, I mean, dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun. I mean, just the, the music, music alone, alone yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. It, it is so good. And then The Last of Us Part Two. He slotted it, so man. My look at of, you coming out here. So my game of the year 2020 is on the list. Already up there. So now we're going to get into the 20s. You know, if, if the if 2020 brought us your 30 and what, 33, then mm-hmm. that means that, so it was a pretty damn good year for you. Huh? I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. For the record. Mm-hmm. Yeah. T- I thought 2020 was. It was a banger of a year. Yeah. I thought it was real good. Mm-hmm. I, it top heavy. Yeah. Maybe. Mm-hmm. But I thought it was really good. All right, number 29, Titanfall 2. You knew it was going to be high, but that's where it fell. Halo 3, 28, Red Dead Redemption 2 at 27. 26, Super Mario Odyssey. Odyssey. <laughs> Odyssey. I, yeah, I Odyssey. like Odyssey a lot. What number was that on your list that year? Uh, Odyssey, I believe, was number two on my list that year. Okay, I thought it was high. Mm-hmm. Uh, number 25 is Uncharted 2, which makes me think that I really do Wasn't have a duplicate that? then. So I do have Were you thinking maybe Uncharted 3 then? No, the bottom one? Uncharted or 3 is not on my list. Maybe Uncharted 1? No, definitely hmm. not Uncharted 1. I go, I go. I agree with that. 2 and 4 are my favorites. 2, 4, Lost Legacy, 3, 1 there is my ranking. Uh, so I do have a duplicate. I don't know what we're going to do there. Uh, so Toe Jam and Earl... On the Genesis, boy, did I play a lot of Toe Jam and Earl. Which we I also enjoyed played through watching you guys playing that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I enjoyed actually. I was in the room watching you play it, and I was like, "This game's better than I remember." 
<laughs> yeah, this game's a lot of fun. Uh, Bully, Scholarship Edition, number 23. God of War PS4 version, 22. 21. That tracks. Uh-huh. Super Mario World. I think we might be at the end of my Mario's here. <laughs> but World, World's, World's damn good. That game is really good. And I agree. At number 20, Grand Theft Auto 4. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. Nico. Yep. Here we go into that top. That's thing. really because of Brucey, though. Not Nico. You're a big Brucey guy. I do like Brucey. I <laughs> know. <laughs> Nico. Okay. All right. I'm not going to reveal number 10 yet. So uh, at number 19, Resident Evil. Notice I put the GameCube version there, but that's that was my introduction to Resident Evil. Um, so that's where uh, the, I I loved the first Resident Evil. I I love that game almost as I love as much as I love the PlayStation One version. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's very good. Mm-hmm. It's true to form is the other thing. I mean, they really didn't change a lot other than that. FMV. Tank controls at the time, mm-hmm. you know, it yeah. looked, but at the time though, dude, it, it looked like incredible. It was, it was one of the best looking GameCube games easily. If oh, not one beyond, of the best looking yeah. games in that generation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody was like, how in the hell did you get this figured out on this game? I was, but all those pre-rendered backgrounds and stuff make it look good. Uh, number 18 for Sona five. This game, when I, when I started this list, <laughs> it was in the top 10 a year and a half ago. It That's moved, what happened to me. It you moved, guys saw it. It happened live. It, it moved we down to it. number 18. I, I don't mine's know. a little bit higher. Yeah. but I think mine's 15. Mm-hmm. So they're pretty close, pretty close, but it happened to me too. Mm-hmm. Uh, number 17, You Don't Know Jack. The amount of hours I spent playing You Don't Know Jack games, and there, I mean, there's a plethora of them out there. And every time there's a new one, I go out and find it and get a, the Jackbox party games and stuff like that because I am a trivia nerd and I can listen to Cookie Masterson read me some <laughs> jokes as part of his stuff all day. Like there is that that entire genre of game of you don't know Jack games from hits really hard for me. So it had it had to at least make a top twenty for me. Uh, the Last of Us, the first one, number sixteen. Love it. Silent Hill 2. At also low. 15. It. Tekken Tag Tournament. Number 14. Hmm. Yep, I know, right? Yes. I was like, this is all tracking a lot toward Jason's list now, too. <laughs> uh, for, this is another one that hits for me is Streets of Rage 2. I played. Yeah, boo. Yeah, I played a lot of. This was, this was my beat em up of choice growing yeah, you up. You can almost look through Logan's. You, you can compare both of your guys' lists and mm-hmm. then know the exact time frame where you were very, very close. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, it's true. It's a good point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, this was. The, everybody has their favorite beat em up. This was mine. So, uh, Shadow of the Colossus, number 12, and Grand Theft Auto 5 at number 11. So all my Grand Theft Autos are out of my top ten. Uh, it checks out, I would I would say. But they're yeah. all. I mean, they're eleven and twenty. So yeah, they're where they should be for you. Mm-hmm. And I'm having a hard time even looking at Persona Five. I'm like, I because you I know what's probably coming I, up. Yeah, and I can't see, I can't see these moving down. So this this makes okay. sense. All right, here we go. Number ten. Soul Calibur. I I would say when nine nine ninety nine rolled around, <laughs> this was my Dreamcast game, and I played this game to no end. This was my fighting game, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. Be damned! I am a Soul Calibur guy through and through. Just always was. Number nine, Bioshock One. Oh, Joyce. Mm-hmm. That's why I figured I wasn't going to get an argument there. Nope. Kingdom Hearts Whoa. three at number eight. We flag that. <laughs> oh, it's higher. That's fighting. as a as yeah. a higher. I think it's higher. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that needs a flag for sure. Okay, because we got to find a way to move that up. Okay. No. <laughs> oh, I don't, we I don't find... know what's in your top seven, but it's not. I mean, I I don't know if it does move up because there are some bangers here that I could not move past. One being Batman: Arkham City. Fair enough. I love that game a lot. Kingdom Hearts 3 has its faults. Batman Arkham City has a very few. 
Batman Arkham City has a lot of Riddler trophies. <laughs> but I loved getting those Riddler same, trophies. There same. was part of me that really loved that though too. So yeah. the amount no, of them you. was was I'm at, just saying that's that's generally the the only criticism that you'll hear out of people on it. But I also got to fly around as Batman and get Riddler trophies, which yeah. to me was actually one of the better parts of the game. So right. yeah. At number six, Red Dead Redemption. Man, okay. Yeah. I know how much you played that game because we were playing it concurrently. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I maxed it out. There was there, yeah. I maxed that game. That game was great. Me too. I picked every damn flower I could. That was yeah. Mm-hmm. Number five, Final Fantasy X. Man, this seems low to me. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. There's got to be some nostalgic thing coming up that I don't see coming. Mm, yeah, there might be in a second. Do we do we it, do we need a, do we need some guesses on four three two one here? Well, I I think there. You've you've often said that your favorite Final Fantasy game is not Final Fantasy X. So. He's right. That's one in the, one of them in the top four. Mm-hmm. The um, one of them, one of them is Halo we, Two for sure. Yeah, and we also have not seen Kingdom Hearts one yet. So we've got three of them, Caleb. We've got we've got Halo Two, we've got Final Fantasy Two. I think three, two. I don't remember. I think it's two, is. two for okay. the NES. Uh, and then Kingdom Hearts one, which leaves us with one game. What hmm. is it? Hmm. Well, we can at least cross Halo 2 off the list okay. at All number right. four. Mm-hmm. 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 And then we can cross Final Fantasy 4 slash 2 US two. Got it. Yeah. off yeah. the list. Which leaves us with Kingdom Hearts 1. <laughs> It okay. can't be two and one, can it be, Caleb? Two is all the way down at number yeah, eighty. Two, something. Yeah, oh, two we already eight. covered two. Okay, uh-huh. we already did. Um, so it's going to be something like really obscure. <laughs> it's not. Oh, really? Okay. No. Yeah. I was thinking Logan's just trying to throw us off here. No, it up, is not like... obscure at all. I'm actually <laughs> rather surprised you guys don't have this off the top of your head. We're gonna see it and then punch ourselves just give me a second he's yeah. got to look at his wall maybe he needs to there might just be a like a co mingling here that i'm missing ah shit i don't think so my top three or you've yeah you've got my top five mentioned hmm. i'm literally it's not at infinite it's mm, hmm. I'm trying to remember your basement now. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, what that poster? Is it? Is it Bioshock? We already have no, because you already did Bioshock, and it's not infinite. Or so, is it? The look on his no, face right it now. Can't. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> so is a lighthouse. Always a lighthouse. Yeah, I remembered when you pointed over there, I was like, oh, yeah, you do have a Bioshock poster. Mm-hmm. I have a Bioshock poster of Rapture and Columbia. I have the both of them. Jason, what? He oh, followed yeah. you. <laughs> that surprises me. I didn't know you were that high. Sorry, I thought I saw Bioshock 2 or Bioshock Infinite at number two. I'm back. Oh, yeah, it's still there. Bioshock 2. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bio- Bioshock 2 was on this list. We'd have a problem. <laughs> Bioshock 2 is not a bad game. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. God only knows how this got so <laughs> high. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, good callback. And of course, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts is number yeah. one. Kingdom Hearts. That was not a that was not a question. I mean, I do have a songbird up there. That's why I was pointing at Songbird and pointing at the poster over here. <laughs> I have a Bioshock I mean, shirt I, that I wear. <laughs> I don't begrudge you for that. I, I don't. I like one better, but I like Infinite a lot. I, I do. And I especially Songbird. Like, there's something about Songbird. No, the it's, whole story yeah. of everything with Booker and Elizabeth and the th- the Pinky. And uh, I love that game. I, there was a lot that I loved about that game. So that's why it falls in I'm looking at this list like how do we move Kingdom Hearts up and this might be more of a Jason question because a lot of this stuff was before I knew you does Kingdom Hearts 3 ever move up (laughs) 
<laughs> He's looking at, yeah, you're looking at that going, hmm. I think the only game that so. has come out since I've known you is Bioshock Infinite <laughs> in your top 10. Mm-hmm. Well, Kingdom Hearts, Hearts obviously. Yeah. We didn't know each other. Oh, so, did we not know each other? You guys would have barely City? known each other. No. no. Not City. No, because uh, Jason started working with me, which is how I met him in 2013. Yep. Because that's when uh, Bioshock Infinite came out. <laughs> that's when GTA 5, about, Bioshock yeah. Infinite, The Last of Us. Mm-hmm. We talked about that a lot at work. Yeah. So I, I, I just being very a vividly leader. remember that. Yeah. 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 Um, so there's my list. So we, we have, uh, I guess, the finding of Kingdom Hearts 3. We think it should be higher. Um, I don't know. I don't know now. Looking at the other seven see. above it, it's hard to move it. Yeah, I maybe you could swap that with Red Dead, maybe. Because Red Dead is an hours thing more than maybe love of a franchise. Yeah. I could see those two maybe I could see those two switching and Arkham staying put. Here, here here's how I would decide mm-hmm. between Red Dead and Kingdom Hearts. Did you cry at the end of Red Dead Redemption? No. Yep. We're done. Then you gotta move Kingdom Hearts out. I also didn't cry at the end of Halo 2, but that's not really a thing. Well, <laughs> there's a there there's there's a difference there. That's like, what I mean. It's the yeah. Red Dead argument. Mm-hmm. I think that's. I think that makes sense. This makes sense at number six. I don't think it can ever pass Final yeah. Fantasy. 10. I. I just. No. You're I, not crazy. No. I mean, there's there's not something like wrong with you. Mm-hmm. You know. It, it, the only like, thing I could ever be... think of is maybe swapping my two Final Fantasies. But this has such an emotional tie for me. Of this is what introduced me to RPGs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And everything about that game, I, I would kill for a Final Fantasy 7 style remake of Final Fantasy 4. Kill for it. It is yeah. That game. Did you ever play this Caleb? Uh no, not seriously. Okay. It's got a lot of characters. I think there's like nine characters in it. Um and it all like focuses around uh these two knights and this um and they end up finding a summoner who is like one of the considered one of the last summoners and they have to protect her from uh, Golbez who is trying to um, steal her power and be the, the last and to kind of essentially take over the summoning and like in the summoning that can happen because she's the only one who could ever really take him out. And you're trying to build her up to, to take him out because she is a, like a young child. She's only like, 12 years old yeah that's um it, there's like as you're going through this i'm m- making mental notes of like there's probably at least five things on this list where i'm like oh yeah i should probably play that at some point <laughs> oh okay that's definitely one of them yeah i just wish there especially was if there are things that we agree on like logan yeah. and i agree on caleb mm-hmm. yeah so for example what what are you what are you thinking about here uh, well, scroll down slowly. Like Silent Hill Two, I never played. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Um, it's the best Silent Hill. Mm. Uh, keep going slowly though. Yeah, there you go. Just kind of scroll through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all good. Yep, obviously. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, I don't remember what the next one would have been, but I know there were like probably five. Okay, let's go through here. Eternal fight? Darkness. Eternal Darkness. Yeah, that's one. one. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah. three. Yep. Um, Heretic doesn't hold up really. Yeah. Today. That's, yeah. Um, oh, I need to do something here. Wait, something has to be done about this. Oh yeah. Uh, just either delete it, delete one, or uh, yeah, clear you got you got you it. got your standby list at the bottom. You could slot I do, something in but it. like 100. yeah. Yeah, so we could slot something in here at the end, or we, or we need to address my two hots, and see what we yeah. want to do there. Um, hey, time killers made it to fifty. <laughs> there you go. Now, so good, good on it. 
Congratulations, yeah, you Sun can, Killers. You can finally yeah. sleep at night. I still need to own it. That's my other problem. I don't own it yet. Uh, Mario 3, LA Noir, Sunset Riders, Dead Space, Metal Gear Solid, Control, Controls in Time. Yeah, let's see. I know there were a couple more. Birth by Sleep. That's oh, four. you haven't played that? Um, no. That, you can just pop on Game Pass right now, and the Kingdom yeah. Hearts story so far is on there, and you can just play that. It's solid. You'll get a, I think you would enjoy it. I don't think the PC version is there, though, because I think it's Epic exclusive. So I don't think I have a way to play that. Oh, you're right. Um, I do happen to have a PS4 copy of the story so far, if you oh, would okay. like that. Yeah. So you maybe can... at some point I'll have to borrow that. Mm-hmm. So I do have that. And then I think the other, the last one was uh, Simpsons Hit and Run. I never did play that. I have it on GameCube, but it is probably hard to. I mean, I mean, we'd have to. I think there's a PC version of that too. That oh really? Not I bet up. that's on Steam. Yeah. It, think of it as like Crazy Taxi meets GTA, but with The Simpsons. Yeah. That's what that game was. Real dumb. Yeah, because I think everything else on here you would have played or at least had some I think sort so. of. I mean, we all know you never played Viva Pinata, so. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I got all 1,000 gamer score in 48 hours on Viva Pinata because I could not stop playing it. Wow. <laughs> that game needs like a guide, too, to even run through some of that stuff. Yeah. That stuff, I mean, to romance the fudge hogs and the whatever uh, stuff gets out of control all right so yeah so what are you slotting in here at 100 i guess on the bubble the next... ah what's mm. the best of these what uh eight games logan mm-hmm. it's nba street that's easy it should be nba street shouldn't it yeah no that's easy knowing you you love nba street so do you I know, but I, I like, know. <laughs> but I th- just like looking at this list, NBA Street means more to you than these do. Come on. Okay. So does it's M- got to be NBA Street. All right. So if we do that, we get rid of these. All right. Is Astros Playroom? All right, if, because it fell behind Ori and the... No, it was ahead of Ori and the Will of the Wisps for this year. But I felt like I could slot it. Like, is it somewhere between Hades and Ori? Then? That's easy, because hey, Caleb asked you which Astrobot do you like more. Mm-hmm. And I said Astro's Playroom, didn't I? Mm-hmm. So you either then you really just have a discussion of whether you like Tetris more than that. That'd be weird to have both Astros right next to each other, but you know well, what? I mean, it's your list. I mean, who cares? Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's All just right. whether or not you legitimately like Tetris more. Is that the only PS5 thing on your list? Yes. Well, Last of Us 2 is too hot right now? Or is it on the oh, list? Oh, it's on the list. Oh, yeah, but it's PS4. a PS4 game. Yeah. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Yep, you're right. Yep, it's a PS4 game. God, right, if I forget that because it looks so freaking yeah. incredible. All right. That leaves these other games here on the outside looking in. But then that means yeah. NBA Street comes off the list because yeah. it's now on number 101. <laughs> so it made the list and then fell off immediately? That's so NBA Street. That is. Like, this could it's, just be your top 101 games. <laughs> no, it, it, it can't be. There are no rules here. There are none. You set your own rules. Well, I mean, there are some games farther down the list. Um, like, if you start scrolling down, <laughs> uh, Superman 64 <laughs> is down here. E.T., the guy game. <laughs> Hannah Montana, the game. Uh, Mass Effect is down here. Uh, the Fighter Within. Fester's Quest on the NES, because that game was terrible. Uh, Corey in the House on the Nintendo DS made the list. Oh, and Stardew Valley is uh, at the very bottom. <laughs> you, okay, this is done. We're done. <laughs> I agree. I've seen enough. 
That was unnecessary. <laughs> that at the end there, that wasn't that was uncalled for. Wait, I don't know. I don't ever want to see Corey in the house next to Stardew Valley anywhere ever again. Kingdom Hearts sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what he said. <laughs> oh, I got at least throw something at you here and there. Jeez. Um. Yeah. I. Yeah. I. Spider Man boy. Hmm. I, I mean, well, I if you I, want to put the good one on the list, then you put Miles on there. You know? <laughs> just... Okay, yeah, now we're getting. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You know what? All right, superhero game for superhero game. We're You're, doing this. Oh, yeah, but now that makes Saints, sense. Saints Row is coming off the list. No, it just I took I took Captain America and the Avengers off the oh, list. Oh, okay, okay. So I think that's about right because when you guys tried to play that. A couple of years ago, I remember you got through like one level and you're like, this is not very good. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm now like. I mean, it's I sat, I just sat in front of my wall. Yeah. The other day and just started plugging stuff in. And I was like, all right, here we go. And maybe because it was at the top of the, you know, alphabetically, it was in the top row. All right. I feel better about that, at least. So, OK. I don't think we have any other asterisks, do we? We just had the uh, oh, because we, yeah, we had to it. come back to Marvel Spider Man. Oh, yeah. So, do we think Marvel Spider Man should be higher on the list than any of these other games? I don't now after seeing it. Not after seeing the top fifty. No. Okay. Because you guys were very concerned about some of these toward the bottom, especially Metal Gear Solid Three. But I still I still think that Ori is probably a little low for you, but I don't know how to move it up because I don't know a lot of your affinity for this. But you I just would... like you loved Ori. I did. Yeah, but you don't love it more than the rest of these. I mean, you don't like Ori more than God of War 2 or Infamous or M- MGS5. No way. Right. I am moving... Mario Kart Double Dash down. <laughs> it is going to go right here. Everything gets moved up a spot. I don't think anything swaps with it, but I rated Astro's Playroom higher than Ori this year. Ori okay. in the World of the Wisps. Okay. That's why I think it has to go here. Fair enough. Now, granted, in 18 months from now, will I turn around and say, mm, maybe not? Well, in the lull of 2022, when we do this again, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, we re-rank the, our, our favorites. Yeah. So combine good. all three of our lists and uh, fight it out. <laughs> you should. No. Hey, man, no. if, these ga- if these games don't launch, you know. All of it's on the table, Caleb. If we do that, one of us is not making it out alive. <laughs> probably not. You, we you can't know, do it in person. And it's probably me. <laughs> I have a couple of things that he I... He just kept talking about anime, and then Logan stabbed him in the throat. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, though, I'm, I am genuinely curious at your list, Caleb. Like, I am... Well, you guys gotta remember, too, that, like... Uh, I won't have any of the like I doubt I'll have any NES or Genesis or SNES like that whole generation is just it's lost the time not going to be record represented so mm-hmm. it's going to skew a lot newer than your guys's list that's for sure yeah I mean with my like NES too like I don't think I've got a ton of NES here I would say I mean if you filter out my where's my filter on this thing create a filter uh what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> uh, how do I clear all? Yeah. All right. Let's do. Oh, wait. Here. I got to do this. I forgot because it's. <laughs> um, well, it's. Uh, turn off filter. I need to create a. Because it's uh, Google Sheets. Create a filter. All right. There's some advanced sheets usage mm-hmm. right here. Mm-hmm. I, I've got four NES games on here. And then what is it? 
uh, SNES games. Three. I bet yeah. there's a lot of Genesis games that on here. I, I really liked my Genesis. Well, you've also got like GameCube and then GC. So, mm -hmm. oh, geez. I've got some data integrity issues. Yeah. Yeah. I look like for the most part, though. But yeah, there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Genesis games. That's a lot. Yeah. I do have like what? What? One DS slash NES game, too. I didn't really. I'll have to go ahead and fix that, but I think the rest of them all look okay. Because then there's. I wonder what. I'll have to look, go back and see what my Xbox game is. What is my Xbox game? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that's right. <laughs> that is Xbox. Because <laughs> then I think I wrote 360 for everything else. Oh, look at all those 360 games. Oh, my. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Yeah, that that seems about right. Because yeah, I don't think there's like if I go back and look at like PS3, I bet there's very few of those. Four. All exclusives. Because <laughs> I played everything else on three six or three sixty. Achievements, man. They got to me. They got to me. All right. Well, that's my list. Uh, we got through that decently quick. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. Uh, any TV you guys want to hit on at all before we wrap up today? I don't know what all everybody's watched recently. I watched one show in the past two weeks. That's it. Have we all just been watching basketball? Is that what we've been doing? I watched a ton of basketball. I've been yeah, watching a lot of basketball. Right. Yeah. It's basketball season. We're college wrapping up and getting ready for the tournament. And NBA is... I, we're in peak regular season right now is kind of what I would call it. Yeah. Uh, um, I did watch uh, Generation on HBO Max. Uh, the first three are out right now. I don't know if I know that it's, show. Um, it's like a, it's a, like a teenage drama kind of thing, uh, but it's about um, kind of like the whole um, LGBTQ like community. Like every character on the show is a different representative of something slightly different. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Um, it's it's also really interesting because this show was the the lead writer on it is 18 years old. Um, she literally took a semester out, off of high school <laughs> to to work on this show. Oh wow, kind of cool. Um, and her dad, uh, well, she has she her 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 dads are gay. Um, and they um one of them is a a writer on the show that he he literally reports to her on the show which is interesting that's kind of funny yeah yeah and then the other one is a producer so they're both involved with the show um so i was just listening to an interview with them and it was really interesting hearing how that dynamics worked so generation but, yeah it's got a plus sign instead of a t but I think oh you just okay say i got it yeah yeah that's how it's they sh i see how they've got that there but then on imdb it's just listed as like regular generation yeah. And I think I think it's really good. I, I am enjoying it a lot, but it you you can definitely tell that this is like a a first project of someone's. Uh. It's it's got a little bit of amateurness <laughs> in it, and maybe that's why it's on HBO Max and not HBO proper. You are correct. Um, I don't know anything about this show, but that's the explanation, and you know it. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Uh -huh. So I, I think it's really good, and I, a lot of people were comparing it to Euphoria. Um, oh, okay. but I don't, I don't. The tone is way different. These are also half hour instead of an hour. Um, the only thing is like it's teen drama that, that links the two in HBO, I guess. But hmm. otherwise, I think it's it's way lighter and um, funnier. Um, and, yeah, Euphoria is heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, Euphoria seems like pretty heavy drama. I haven't really watched it, but just from what it seems like. Um, I, yeah, uh, it's, it's really good. Yeah. I, I would I would recommend checking it out. I did finish It's a Sin. Did you happen to finish that? No, I didn't, but I want to. It's very good. Um, I would I would still recommend you finishing that. And Jason, if you haven't started it at all, that's it's five episodes. It. It's it's heavy and painful to watch at points, but very good. Um, I wouldn't say it's probably not the Mark Ruffalo show painful. Um, <laughs> but 
Whatever. I don't know if I'll ever be the same after that. It's oh boy. We'll uh, see. I'll be able to provide you some analysis there once I watch. Yeah, it. I mean, I feel like at least with this show, there's a, there's a good amount of levity in it. But you also, I mean, you know how it's not. You, you kind of know how it's going to end. I mean, going into it, especially after the first episode, it's like, oh well, shit. That's what's going to happen here. Um, but again, yeah, five episodes, about an hour apiece. Solid HBO Max watching. That's for sure. Uh, the, I started the head. Um, so I'm an episode in, it's all right. Uh, just, and it was one of those we started and just haven't gotten back to it. Just been busy. That's all. Um, and also started, uh, last chance you, uh, the, the, the basketball one, the basketball one. Yeah. I want to watch that. Uh, it's really good. It is very good so far. I've only watched one episode. Um, it follows a junior college in East LA. Um, I don't, yeah, Jason, did you ever watch any of the first last chance? You I did no. mm-hmm. Same basic idea of this is a lot of players who had been heavily recruited or had actually gone to a top school and, behavior school issues drug issues kept them out of a major school and now they're trying to fight their way back and also deal with all of everything that comes with you know a junior college like there's not you don't get the benefits of a top school these guys are living on top of each other and they they barely have anything to get by but yet they need to do they they got to put in all this work and keep themselves straight and narrow so that they can get looked at by a top school again uh it's it's very good um i mean i think it's from what i saw metacritic wise even this year is like way high for a show like that so so and since it's basketball you'll get a kick out of it Speaking of uh, basketball documentaries, <laughs> have you guys watched any of the uh, the Inside Story? Yes, have you. Um, I've watched all of them, but the Shack one. I haven't got to okay. the last I did, one. I yet. did. I, I watched all of them. Mm-hmm. Um, that it's. I think it's good. Um, but yeah. it is definitely a puff piece. Oh, beyond um, a puff 100%. piece. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. But it, it, the thing I really liked about it the most was that they bring up the just like the best of moments basically. And they talk a little bit more about what actually happened and what was going on around that time. Mm -hmm. Um, And it kind of reminds you like, Oh yeah, this show has had some really, really good moments. Um, Mm -hmm. So I appreciated that, but overall it was just kind of like, yeah, everyone's just kind of congratulating themselves a little bit too much. (laughs) Yeah. That that's was my worry going into it was that like, Hey, I mean, TNT, they know drama, but they obviously don't know how to dramatize there. Yeah. But maybe there really wasn't a lot of drama, and maybe that's fine. Um, I do like the people, the behind-the-scenes people that they bring on. I think those yeah. those people, there are they are the unsung heroes of that show because they really make that show work. And to see, you know, who these people are and the, what they actually contribute. And, like, the main, uh, was, is he the main he's director? The EP? The the gray haired guy with the glasses. I think I, he might. I don't know. I don't remember his role. But he but seems, I know he's he's about. like the main like administrator yeah. there. Showrunner. Showrunner. Whatever yeah, it, yeah. Whatever it is. And is that underdog? No, no. Underdog's like no. a producer researcher guy. Yeah. Okay. Um, and they do spend some time talking about who Underdog is and like what we're, we're like a little bit about him. I, it was maybe five to seven minute segment about him. Uh, but yeah, that guy that I mean talked about having run-ins with Shaq and run-ins with like yeah I mean it sounds like that he's the guy that's had to deal with the shit and and really he was the one that really kind of said okay this is how the show is going to work and really got Ernie and Kenny on board to start with and it was really Ernie and Kenny who made the show what it was to start with and that's what attracted Chuck to come there I'm not really like you know spoiling it by any means because it's it's a it's a known. <laughs> I mean, this is just history. This, this is, is not... <laughs> history, yeah. At that point, but it's it's entertaining to watch. That's for sure, um, especially as we've all been fans of inside the NBA for years. To yeah, see how that show was ran. So anyway, um, so any, anything else? I forgot. Yeah, Jason, you hadn't got anything else either, had you? Or I watched a Netflix documentary. 
three porter three parter called Murder Among the Mormons. <laughs> that sounds like a Netflix documentary. <laughs> One day, nineteen eighty five, three bombs go off in Salt Lake City. Mm-hmm. And uh it involves a pretty intricate um criminal plot around Mormon documents from the time of Joseph <laughs> Joseph Smith. Dum 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 dum. So it's yeah, it, it it actually is pretty good. Um and it's only three episodes, but it's I can't say anything else about it because it would spoil it, but it's yeah, it's uh it, it's shocking. Like did did the Mormon church off people or what, what's going on here? And um yeah, because if there was a document debunking the foundations of an entire religion worth almost well worth a billion dollars more than a billion dollars like when you look at the entire operation of that yeah like if if there was if there was some evidence to come to light and all of a sudden people were murdered around that evidence Mm -hmm. it's it's uh it's pretty good it's pretty good Hmm. yep uh, speaking of South Park, just because you brought up Mormons, yeah, there um, you go. <laughs> uh, I did watch the South Park vaccination special. Uh, it is on HBO Max. It's about 35, 40 minutes long. It's good. It's worth watching. If you know, especially kind of one of those things of with South Park not having to do a structured schedule right now. Now they're just putting out stuff like, "Hey, we've got content. Let's throw something out there." Like maybe that's how that show should work from now on. I don't know. <laughs> like it's just a, okay. Hey, we're gonna throw together a forty-minute special once a quarter. Why not? They're at that point in their careers when they can do that, and you have a platform that you can just throw it on. Um, but it's funny. Like it's you know it, especially considering my life of vaccines. Uh, because they they get into this whole like the first five minutes, they've got a bouncer outside of Walgreens and you know people are walking up trying to pretend like they're firemen and stuff to get in and they won't let anybody in and then uh an old lady comes up to the front all these people are complaining like oh i've got i've got diabetes why won't you let me in and like uh my brother is an orthodontic assistant why won't you let me in (laughs) and then this then this old lady walks up and they they go ahead and let her like be on the velvet rope and as she walks in she's like fuck the fuckers (laughs) uh, yeah it's i mean it's funny stuff that they do with it I mean, just because it's it's south park and they can take it to that level and that and they do as well as they can so it if you got if you if you're bored you want to throw something on that's semi-funny for a few a few minutes throw that one on but otherwise yeah i haven't have been i don't even know what i'm going to watch when i get done right now probably go watch some bracketology even though i'm not going to understand <laughs> like there was a new simpsons tonight you could watch that oh yeah by the way, I think we, we, you and I talked about it, and I think I told Jason, Simpsons this year is real good. It is. The one that was tonight. Mm. Oh, I haven't watched it yet. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Family Guy this year has been pretty so-so as well. Um, I, just as a as an example of what this past week's was, I haven't watched tonight's, um, but they did a P-Terminator episode. And so there was a Terminator that came back from that they sent back so the entire show was based on the premise of a terminator but peter was the terminator and there were two peters walking around so i mean concept sure did it fully nail it no no it didn't but maybe we'll get some new american dads that's my that's my hope for tbs yeah, yeah when is that there's a date. Oh, there is. Because TBS, mm-hmm. usually when the tournament hits, they start hyping up new American dads that usually go into the summer. April 19th. Oh, now we're talking. Now nice. I feel good. All right. Yeah, it, it the the TV calendar is super weird. Like March and, and uh, like the back half of February was really, really barren. And then all of a sudden in April and May, it's just it just explodes. That is so weird. There's going to be some crazy, crazy stuff coming out. But is it anything good? Yeah, we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Mm. You'll have to follow the channel and listen to us to find out. Okay, good. All right, we will do that. Like and comment your favorite show that you hope comes back. 
And uh, with that being said, I think we will have a case of Lupa, and we will see you next week for Caleb's Top 100, full of anime Over. bullshit. Maybe not Top 100, but something. Caleb's, Caleb's top, top something. something. <laughs> Caleb's Top Anime Bullshit next week on the Master of the Podcast. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.